this is a big day. We are connecting all the high voltage lines up. So batteries were connected. We're now connecting those batteries to the battery management system, then the battery management system, and through the headache rack, the power distribution unit, and we're gonna be starting testing all the things. This is the part where I kind of step back a little bit and let the guys that are much smarter than me start doing some connecting. So I'm gonna try and explain this the best I can, but really we probably need Eric for a lot of this explanation. Or Steve. Or Steve, they're both smarter than I am. So guys, we're just supposed to start doing some high voltage testing. A little update here, my hand is actually doing a lot better. I mean, I'm technically allowed to have the cast off kind of halfway through the day. Not working it too hard, but for wiring, you just got to use both your hands. So it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. So yeah, just about to start testing here and hope it all goes well. Fingers crossed. Those fingers, not those fingers. Yeah, yeah, smart ass. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Contact. 560 volts. We have Drew in high voltage gloves. We have Dan with a fire extinguisher. Dead man works. We heard clicking. We're good. Great job, Steve. Oh awesome. Five, six, uh, Perfect. Yeah. It was a boring video and that's exactly what we needed. Everything, the high voltage, nothing blew up. So we can go ahead with the testing on the next step now. Update, the cat diesel generator is now communicating. We've got that all pinned in. We got a cat technician coming next week just to finalize it, but it did. Our computer is communicating with the cat, so that's a big step. Disclaimer, as I'm showing you a bunch of this, don't pay attention to the cable management. We gotta do a lot of cable management here, but we are putting in things in, testing out, and we're gonna clean it all up later. Also, I'm making a note, there's a few things on the next truck that I do a little differently than this truck, but that's part of prototyping. So, yeah, we know there's a couple things that need work. We still have a week and a half to go to the show. We'll clean it up, don't worry. But let's have a look here. Big step, battery management system. So before in the last video, we had the high voltage lines going from the battery to the BMS. Now the lines go from the BMS over and up into the headache rack. One of the things I wanted to talk about on this truck, I said in one of the last videos that we'd be doing a lot more 3D scanning. So we did work with some computer models. As you can see, the renders for general fitment. But there was a lot of little things that we took the approach of, let's put them in the truck as we go and refine them later. It's, it's what we needed to do in order to get things done. We couldn't get down into the nitty gritty. A lot of the times, it's our whole ethos. We let the mechanics select where they want it. Sometimes it works out brilliantly like an oil filter. Other times, I would change little things. I would really, I'd like this air compressor in a side box. We just had extra frame rail space that we didn't need. And I thought, oh, it might be cool to stick it in the frame rails, see how it does. But the air filter could be moved. These are things that we will work with uh, Justin, work with our 3D guys, start moving around, placing into the drafting model and changing up a little bit. But this is part of prototyping. You build it, you put it in there, you see how you like it, you see how you test it, and then we can move things around. Like, I'd love to redo some of this cable design, cable layout. Right now, it's going over, under a walking plate. We're gonna put a deck over it to protect them, and we're leaving certain things on this prototype truck for ease of maintenance. Like, yes, I would love to tuck the wires away, do a little bit more securement, but this truck's all about testing, all about figuring things out, so we can leave things in Though it may not look attractive, we're leaving it in more easy to access spots where we can service it a little bit better. And then as we go into production, we'll start putting those into more protected spots. That's kind of our ethos here. Okay, one thing I do wanna say about electric vehicles, I know we say that we wanna make this right to repair, easy to work on for anyone to work on. It should still be said though, that for the high voltage, you need to be trained in high voltage and industrial electrician. We're using a lot of common parts that you can source from a lot of part stores, things like Flowdraulic carries in stock, that sort of stuff, no proprietary parts, but you should still be a trained electrician, industrial electrician to work on high voltages. There's things like the batteries will hold their charge, capacitors hold their charge. Even if you disconnect the batteries, you still gotta remember that those capacitors can still have power that can severely hurt or kill somebody. You gotta know what you're doing. That part, I don't recommend servicing unless you really, really know. Okay, I'm just building the last air fitting here. It's for the train horn. As soon as I get this on there, I'll connect it, and then we can do a pressure test of the system. This is the last air fitting we need, besides the trailer brake, because I'm just waiting on a double check valve. I gotta pick that up Monday. But other than that, we can test it, see if the truck brakes release, everything, the gauges all work the way they should, hopefully. Can we test the air horn? 
Yeah. We could probably test the air horn. I'm excited. I haven't heard it yet. You haven't heard it yet? No, you guys keep doing it when I'm not here. Okay, a lot of people are wondering how the air compressor is going to work on this electric truck. What we got here is uh, just a tow behind. We strap this to the rear bumper, and then you just run your 110 line from your inverter box over to this, and this just falls along on its little wheels. Turning it on. So we have fired up the generator, and we are charging the air tanks, and we're gonna listen for air leaks. I'm just watching the primary and secondary gauge here to see if we're building pressure. It takes a while. I can hear a big air leak. Uh oh, it's better off. It's better off. One fitting wasn't tight enough. Okay, uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes to thank our sponsors from the channel. I want to start off with Chad Stocking from Blue Ridge, Alberta. Our sponsors are you, by the way. Yes. You're the sponsors through our merch store. Uh, coffee for the crew, beers for the boys, support our YouTube. You're the people who have donated to us through that. And then I think Dad's going next, or are we yeah. going another way? We yeah. don't have corporate uh, sponsors. Yeah. We, we, we were literally like, screw League of Legends. We got Chad Stocking. That's Chad. right. We also got Robin Laval from Coton, France. Enjoy cold one, you deserve it. Ah, merci beaucoup. Uh, Brian Weatherby, Holly, New York. Keep up the great work. Looking forward to the next video. Thank you. We got Nick Rowe from Pace, Florida. Been following for a couple months now after your videos start popping up in my feed. Really love what you all are doing, and I look forward to the end result. Best of luck making the show, given all the hiccups along the way. Just a few hiccups. <laughs> we got Tim Tracy from Berlin, Washington. It's amazing watching you guys work. Gives us old guys hope for the future. He says, keep it up. Hell yeah, we'll keep, we'll try. Thanks, Tim. Evan Van Delville from Owen Sound, Ontario. Love what you guys are doing. Wish I could be helping you out in person, but a little too far away. Okay, it's Ken Klassen. He's the Shrek, as you may have noticed before. He's been here before. Been in a few videos. He's uh, one of the decision makers, and he's from Maple Ridge, BC. Thanks again, Shrek. What did he say? Uh, he oh. said, what did he say? Big thanks to Theron for all the YouTube content. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. This guy, this is the guy that makes our YouTube stuff and off and behind the camera. Should be in front of the camera a little more. Maybe. I want to be behind the camera today, but we ran out of people. Uh, so next, thank you, Shrek. Yeah, and he's in the YouTube decision makers. You can join that. You get some behind the scenes stuff. You get to be in a text group with Chase. Uh, we ask you questions. You guys actually named our truck. We put it up for a vote. So the decision makers actually know what the truck's named already. They're going to get first dibs at the merch too. Uh, okay, we've got Alex Caustic. Yep, I'm going to say Caustic. Caustic. Uh, hi, from Golden, BC. I recently bought a 1982 Kenworth W900 last year with round headlights. Oh, it was the last year with round headlights. And you guys have given me the motivation to not only restore this truck, but to work it to the rest of my fleet and low bed. That's awesome. I am so happy. Uh, <laughs> okay. love, That's my big, one of the big greatest things we do is encourage enough people to... We got Bruce Merriman from Topsham, Massachusetts. Maine. No, it's not Maine. Maine would be it. Why would there be an E? Massachusetts. That's okay. Anyways, I've run my fridge, central heating, and computers to work from home for a few days in a power outage with my Chevy Bolt. Love what you guys are doing. Massachusetts? No. Massachusetts that's still has. MS. MS. People, yeah. We, M -E. Every M -E. time. Somebody, Where is M-E? I think it's Maine. No, Maine, it's not definitely not Maine. What would Maine be? Maryland? No, that's M Y. What would Maine be then? M-A. But M-A is something else. Why would anybody else? What is else? Massachusetts. M.A. is Massachusetts? Yes. Well, or Montana. Why not M.O.? M.O.? That's, MO. that's right. MO. Okay, yes. M.E. 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 I want to say Maine. To be determined. From Bruce Merriman from Top Share, <laughs> somewhere me. in a some state. <laughs> Something me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Uh, Ronald Brave from Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. Pennsylvania. Ronald is a consistent donor to us. Thank you for continued support to Ronald. Ah. Uh, well, I'm glad you got a PA because I haven't got that next. I think that's a note from Theron. Ron. Oh, oh. So that's Theron. <laughs> Thank you, Robert, for your consistent support. <laughs> yeah, Ron did just put that in front of I'm a consistent supporter, guys. You need to know that. We No, that's Theron recognizing that Robert's a consistent yeah, supporter. Yeah, let's get There's on. more like Chad stalking. I'm sure he, he's one guy too. And, and more. We might miss you. Okay. Uh, right? Go. Yep. Mitchell McLean. Uh, Balaclava, Australia. Oh, cool. 
Cheers from Down Under. It's been a blast watching this one come together, and it's been an inspiration for me as well. I'd be interested in, to see your trucks working here as well. I would feel they'd fit in quite well. Crikey. <laughs> I feel like you started out with an Irish accent. Why are you trying to crikey? <laughs> oh, it was close. It was good. Uh, it's Ryan, so Ryan Patuff, or Patuff, uh, from Waynesburg, PA. Uh-huh. We're calling that Philadelphia today. I hope that's right. I uh, love the content and amazing seeing this truck come along. I invested in all. Really love the idea. Have a great day. Uh, one of the OG investors. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, Terry Turner from Delta, BC. Dylan Patadude from New Britain, Connecticut. From New Britain, Connecticut. Amazing stuff. Best day video was so awesome. Almost there. Woot woot. Getting close. Cody Lasovich. Lasovich, I believe, from Omaha, Nebraska. And this is a note. From That's Cody. a note. Yeah. From me. From you. And it says, Theron says to Cody, Glad you, your lost order finally showed up. Thank you for supporting us and our merch store. That's right. Thanks, Cody. I love how his name's spelled, too. I mean, That's too. a cool way. That is a cool uh, way. Jesse Caston from Kinsella, Alberta. Or Kinsella. I should know that. It's pretty close to us. I'm sure I've driven through there. Uh, Chase, you cracked me up with that Freightliner dick beaters comment. I'm actually trying to buy a 99 star, one of the last built in Kelowna. That's cool. Nice. Have a great weekend, boys. Love the truck. Nice. Uh, Zachariah Wolf from Seattle, Washington says he doesn't drive a truck, but he's glad that there's people that do. He, uh, we're making their lives better and driving the industry forward with smart thinking. You boys have your heads screwed on right and love star videos. Keep on trucking. Thanks, Zachariah. Paul Ash Ap Apostolos from Proforce Transportation, Toronto, Ontario. Nope. Yeah. Are right there? there? Yeah. Ian Davis from Grand Prairie, Alberta. Cheers from Iced Mechanical. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, Daniel Rut Rutkowski from Benton Harbor, Michigan. I'm not in to trucking. I'm not in trucking at all, but I love the innovation and the hard work you guys are putting in. Cheers from Michigan, boys. Cool. Well, that's always cool to see when they're like there's guys that aren't even in trucking interested in this. Right. Yeah. It is. Like, yeah. Uh, we got Brad Emery from Burlington, Ontario, who says, keep up the awesome work. Anyways, thank you guys for sponsoring us um, through through the merch store and everything. That's right. Really, really appreciate it. It uh, helps there and make sure that you can film, bring us the content, get us the things that we need to do to keep making sure we can film. Keeps our beer fridge stocked mm. and uh, we Crucial. buy the dinner. Mm -hmm. We got all this extra crew right now, so we're buying lunch, dinner, two meals a day basically for everybody. We got 15 people here. Wow. We don't have the budget out to do staff meals, so a lot of your funds are helping us feed and keep fed and work through lunches and whatnot. Well, it's a super important thing now that we have all of these guys here helping in this big push. A lot of them are volunteers like Richard, so we got to make sure we keep them fed. And also... I want to keep them in the shop working longer, so making sure that they keep their, making sure that they don't leave for lunch yes. keeps them in the shop working, makes them pull wrenches longer. Yeah, help us out. There's it really does help us. Ten get days to this left. Match. The push is on. Oh, fuck, it's ten days. Yeah. Ten days, says the board, oh, with fifty-nine are, tasks. We are so screwed. We got this. We We're had here. sixty-two tasks freaking three weeks ago. Yeah, the task How have we, we eliminated two tasks that in three weeks? I don't think the task count's been updated. I adjusted updated. that one meeting. Oh, right. God, yeah. I hope not. No, no, what time has been updated? Oh, so thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Good. Thanks, guys. We got this.